Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Susilowati. I am an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience in the field of reporting, planning, and analysis. Teaching is a passion that I pursue in my spare time, and I publish a weekly YouTube video tutorial every Thursday about how you can use Excel and Power BI to make your life easier at work. In today's video, I'd like to show you how we can use VLOOKUP slightly differently, so using it with a twist to create an automated classification. Before I get started, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been asked to classify a list? For example, perhaps being given a list of items and being asked to classify which items are sold with good profit margin and bad profit margin or being given a list of managers and being asked to classify what a top performer, mediocre performer, and bad performer based on their KPI achievement. And how often do you have to redo your reports because someone would like to change the criteria? But often, I'm not surprised, as classification criteria of good and bad are all subjective and subject to change. Therefore, it's very useful to know how to create an automated classification in Excel so you don't have to redo your report over and over again. Perhaps create something that looks like this. Let's go through an example of automated classification. So in here, we have a dashboard with products, margin classifications, uh, which is our data, and product margin classification criteria, which outline the four buckets of the classifications that we have set up. So we have four in here, loss making medium, optimal and slim margin, which is outlined in here. So for margin between zero and 25, for example, we are calling it slim margin, 25 to 50, we're calling it medium margin, so on and so forth. Now, if we change the classification name in here, say to slim, everything updates itself. We're calling that medium, that update itself too. Not only that, if we change the bucket from and to range, say from 25 to 30 for slim, voila, that update itself. And if we change the medium to 60, that also update itself. So it makes it really easy to have um, the dashboard update itself whenever someone requested a change in the classification. In the rest of this video, I will walk you through the three steps required to create an automated classification. Step one, setting up the classification criteria table. Step two, setting up the classification formula using VLOOKUP with a twist. And thirdly, uh, adding conditional formatting. All right, let's do this from scratch together. Um, First step is to create product margin classification criteria. So previously we had four classification. Let's type up the classification name, which is um, loss making product, low margin, medium, and optimal. And then secondly, let's enter the from and to range. So let's say loss making is anything less than 0% margin. Uh, low can be up to 20, medium 20 to 50, and um, optimal can be up to 100. So I have created a, a formula in here that says get the previous um, two, previous bucket two, uh, plus 0.1%, and previous plus 0.1, and this is to avoid overlap. Now that the product margin classification has been set up, let's move on to um, using VLOOKUP with a twist um, to link up the margin with the classification criteria. So select the range and type uh, the column that we need to return, which is the classification name. So that's the third column, one, two, three. And then, uh, now previously, we often use exact match when using VLOOKUP. Uh, so we would type false, but in this instance, let's try type true, which is looking for approximate match. 
And that's the twist. We can use be, be look up to find not something exact, but something which is close, something which is an approximate match by typing the word true at the end of the be look up formula. Um, and don't forget to put the dollar sign so that when you drag this formula down or when you double click it, you know, it's still referencing the same table. Now, notice how 20 is actually not in here, but the VLOOKUP is smart enough to find an approximate match because you we type through at the end. Now, the last step is to create the color coding. Yeah. So uh, let's use conditional formatting, home, conditional formatting, um, manage rule or new rule. Let's create a new rule. Okay, so we want to color the classification so that, you know, if the cell contains loss making, uh, so select equal to, so if the cell value is equal to loss making, then we want the color to be pink. Where is pink? Let's can see it in there. So click more colors like pink. And then hit OK. Okay, that's good. Uh, now, but we need more because we also want to add um, criteria that say if the cell value is equal to low margin, I want the color to be orange. And one more. If the cell contains a value which equal to um, medium, I want that to be blue. And then the last one, hit new roll again. If cell value contains or equal to optimal, let's make it green. Okay, and hit apply. So that's our rules, the four color. Now, we've done it on the first cell, so hit home format painter, so that we can replicate that formatting, that conditional formatting on everything. And let's do filter that we can check. Yeah. Loss making. All right. All with margin less than zero. Perfect. Uh, let's check optimal. Optimal is 60 and above. Let's check out table. Yep. We said 50 and above. And when it's 50, it's medium. So let's check whether. You know, if we change that, everything is changing dynamically. And yes, it is happening. So perfect. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn new techniques to help you create automated classification, which is useful in your day-to-day -day life. And if you have seen my previous video about XLOOKUP being way better than VLOOKUP, you may be wondering, can we do this with XLOOKUP? Or is VLOOKUP no better than XLOOKUP? The answer is yes. You can do this with XLOOKUP 2 and all you need to do is change step 2, uh, change the VLOOKUP formula with XLOOKUP. Let me show you. All right, so let's replace the VLOOKUP formula with XLOOKUP. Anything that we can do with VLOOKUP, we can do it with XLOOKUP. So type equal XLOOKUP, the lookup value is our margin, the array is our from column, and then the return array is our classification name. If not found, nothing. And then the next criteria should be minus one, which is uh, return the exact match or the next smaller item. Yep. And then after that, nothing. And done. Same thing with XLOOKUP. Double click it at the end to copy the formula down. And now everything is with XLOOKUP. Same result. Uh, in conclusion, we can use VLOOKUP with a twist or XLOOKUP with a twist to achieve the same outcome. And yes, XLOOKUP is still way better than VLOOKUP, so please use it if it's available to you. 
uh, until next time